Hello my fellow YouTuber, welcome back to my channel. This is Marcelina at CashewGreens.com. Here I am inside the greenhouse with a temperature of 80 degrees Fahrenheit while outside temperature is in the 40s. Still a little bit cooler to grow seeds outside but at least we have sunshine. So today we're going to do more seeds germination using the GP plug. And the GP comes in different sizes. The smaller is for the seeds germination and then the bigger one is to grow tomato or propagating cuttings. And I'm going to show you guys on how to prepare the media although I already have a video on this kind of uh, propagation. But for those of you who haven't watched my video yet, so I'm going to share it again today on this video. And I'm also going to follow up with you guys with our asparagus beans that we propagated in different environments. So let's go check the beans. This is the result of the asparagus beans we propagated in the Fagpanic system. It took only a day to germinate. Normal germination is 10 to 15 days, but because we use this kind of system, it allows us to germinate the seeds faster. This is an experiment, guys. As you can see, I put too many seeds inside the net cup and only few seeds are sprouting. It is because some of the seeds are not getting wet. That's why it stayed that way and it did not germinate. But that's okay. We can just transplant some of the seeds that are developing and then put these uh, seeds that are not sprouting back to the propagator. So if you're doing this uh, type of propagation, guys, just put a little bit of seeds in the net cup so all of the seeds can uh, germinate. So let's check with the second method. This is the result of the asparagus beans we propagated in a dome tree or mini greenhouse. The germination time took two days, the fog panics took one day. As you can see, the growth and development of the seedlings is just like boom, it grew, it grew faster as opposed to the seeds that we grow in the fog panics. This is because we use the soilless media to grow the seeds, not in water. Uh, right now they are leggy because they need sunshine. So I place the tree close to the door of the greenhouse so they can uh, get full sun. Now if you are using this kind of propagation using the mini greenhouse, I would recommend you guys to acclimate your seedlings. Don't open the lid totally because these seedlings would turn into shock so instead you keep the lid at the meantime while they are developing then open the the window knob just to uh, release the moisture inside then within two days then remove the the lid now when you when they are going to develop more leaves like five leaves then that's the time you fertilize them so you don't need to fertilize nitrogen because the legumes, the beans already have that nitrogen with them. So what you need is to fertilize them a lot of phosphorus, magnesium and potassium. You want them to uh, produce uh, bigger roots, uh, make the roots stronger and also uh, healthier and produce more fruit. So you need a lot of phosphorus and potassium. So let's check our last method that we propagated the asparagus beans. So as you can see, this is the misting box. We don't see any seeds germinating here. So let's dig them out and see. Okay, here you go. So we found it. So this is the five days of germination. So just a sewing root. Now, so the this kind of propagation it takes a little bit longer for the seeds to sprout but we just keep that there and miss them so they can you know develop so maybe two days they would sprout so our winner is the fog panic system it took us one day to germinate the asparagus beans the second winner is the dome tree or mini greenhouse it took us two days to germinate the seeds and then the last one is the uh, misting box is they are still germinating but it took five days to have that small root so we just keep the seeds in there in the misting box and continue misting until they are fully developed so today we are going to continue our germination using the JP plug and I'm going to show you guys how to prepare the media to prepare your JP uh, you just soak them in warm water for around 60 seconds or one minute. 
and some of them are already swelling so once they are ready then squeeze the remaining water you don't want too much water inside the JP so just like that and then place them in a tray this tray is ideal for the uh, root riot but I use this tray because it has 72 cells that I can put 72 uh, seedlings and I'm going to put this product in my video and if you guys want this product just check the uh, link below and get from there so I'm going to sow some seeds in here I'm growing another beans in here guys this is the uh, boss green spot blue lake boss they are very delicious so I want to have a good start in here so what you need you just have to create a hole in here make a little bit larger and sow your seeds this is the easiest method of germinating guys it's cleaner and then once they grow it's easy for you to put them transfer them in the garden okay so this is the way how you germinate seeds in the JP plug so I'm not going to show the whole thing in here I just want to show you guys on how you do it so you just place the seeds on the hole this is the easiest method of germinating seeds it is cleaner and once they grow you can just put them directly to your garden so you are avoiding the transplant shock so that's how you germinate all right guys this is the video for today and i hope you enjoyed the video and if you like the video please consider to subscribe below if you haven't subscribed yet and also don't forget to share this video to all your friends especially friends who enjoy gardening and stay tuned see you next time bye bye